Okay, so if you've been following along, you know that my friends and I did a four-player uh, playthrough of Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 the other night, and uh, we beat the whole game in one sitting, which was a pretty damn long accomplishment. It took us over eight hours to do it. Uh, what I've done now is, now that the game's completed, as you see, we're at the end of the game. I went back and I unlocked the characters who were basically unlockables, and there's two ways to get them. I see I'm Hulk. You also got... Nick Fury, who you get for beating the game, so you get him automatically when you beat the game. You get Jean Grey, who, well, there's Jean Grey, Hulk, smash. Hulk Roger that. where the hell's Thor? And Thor. Now, Hulk, Thor, and Jean Grey, there's two ways to get them. You can either find all these items that are hidden throughout the game, or there's just a code you can put in. And no matter which way you do, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect achievements from what I'm being told, so there's no achievement for getting them anyway, so you can easily just put in a code, go on the internet, find the code, you just put them in, you get them immediately. So what I want to do is I haven't tried any challenge modes throughout this entire game. I want to try out a couple, a couple challenge modes here and see how I do. <clears throat> there are achievements for completing the challenge modes and getting certain levels, like if you get five bronzes, you get a certain game, amount of gamer points. If you get uh, enough silvers or enough gold, you get a certain amount of gamer points. I'm just curious to see what they are, because I haven't even looked at them yet. <clears throat> Cannot use fusion. Activate as many targets as you wish, then destroy them within the time limit. Owning it. Ridiculous. Let's activate two at once. We can't use fusion. Damn! Look at the damage. No, don't do that. Fucking activate it. We are really doing well on this one. <laughs> Make it clap. Yeah. Yeah. We're at silver level right now. We got a minute thirty left. <laughs> Just keep it going. Oh, he actually hit me. What the hell? Oops, shit. Activate. Come on, keep going. We can go gold. Where are you running? Alright, 30 seconds left. 
I don't know what the uh, ranking is for gold, to be honest. Like how many points we need. Come on, kill him. We got it. We got gold at the last second. There's only three seconds left, so that's it. We barely made it, but we made it. <laughs> there you go, new high score, cool. Look at that, and I get experience for it too. And a new boost, momentum too. Pretty cool. So that's how challenge mode works. You basically have to do a certain amount of things. And during a certain amount of time, this is locate objects of interest, so I don't know what that means. But it's to complete a certain objective within a certain amount of time, and if you do it, not only do you get experience or ability points, you also get um, boosts and things. And then the more you do, you, you can accumulate achievements for doing them. So I'm actually going to go down this list here and do a couple more.